Hi everyone, we're here in the Ecology Lab and what I have in front of me on the table is um, a variety of equipment that we use in uh, stream sampling and uh, assessing stream health. First of all, we have our waders that we use as well as a life jacket that's always important when going out into the water. We have a measuring tape to measure both that wetted width and bankful width. During the winter months, the lab provides insulated rubber gloves to help you with handling the equipment. Labeled water bottles. So this is important to add the date, your uh, stream name, and sample number. A meter stick. We have a swaffer. This is a swaffer flow meter that measures both stream flow and discharge. So here is the weighting rod and we've already attached it. And note the propeller attached to the rod. As well, we have a YSI Pro Plus multimeter with various probes attached. We have the capacity to test for water temperature, pH, dissolved oxygen, and conductivity. Here is the protective cage for those very expensive probes. And as well, you always want to bring out a jar of tap water to rinse the probes after each sample. Before using the YSI Pro Plus Multimeter, we need to calibrate dissolved oxygen before every usage, before going out into the field. What we have here is a plastic storage sleeve with the probes. This is our dissolved oxygen probe. We have temperature and pH. What we will do is we just want to add a little bit of moisture into the storage sleeve. We want to make sure that our probes are not immersed in this water and we even shake off a little bit of the water droplets there. We screw on this plastic sleeve tightly and then disengage a couple of threads there. That will allow for atmospheric venting. Next step is to turn on the YSI multimeter using the power button there. So we have turned on the YSI multimeter and you will see numerous readings here. The first line is our temperature, our barometric pressure, our dissolved oxygen in milligrams per liter, a probe that is not connected, and our pH probe. Now we are going to wait 10 minutes for the dissolved oxygen probe to stabilize. After 10 minutes has passed, we are going to now calibrate the DO probe. We hit CAL, the CAL button, which stands for calibration here. We are going to highlight DO in the window here and hit enter. And it provides a few options, DO percentage, DO milligrams per liter, and we want DO percentage. So we hit enter again on the meter. Now we can view and see if the dissolved oxygen percentage appears okay. For 
U Waterloo campus in our area, this ranges from 88 to 110%. Since we are satisfied with that reading, we are going to accept the calibration and we hit enter again. And now it brings us back to our main screen where we can go out into the field, into our field sampling location. Here we are in Laurel Creek, a creek that runs through U Waterloo campus. We are in the middle of the stream of our sampling location and our first step is to collect water. It is ideal to have three water bottles for each sampling site. Today we will give you an example of one. Make sure your bottle is labeled with the stream name, your sample number and date. These bottles have been acid washed and are ready for your sample collection. In the middle of your stream site, being careful not to disturb the substrate or kicking up the sediment, you will face upstream, rinsing out the bottle a few times, again facing upstream, and you will dump the contents behind you. Again, being careful not to stir up the sediment. After you have rinsed your bottle three times, you will then fill up your water bottle, leaving a little bit of air space. The next step is using our YSI multimeter. Alia, our lab assistant, will be removing the protective sleeve and placing the black hollow sleeve on the probes. And what this does is protect our very expensive probes from grinding against rocks or the substrate. The probes we have attached to this YSI multimeter is the dissolved oxygen, pH, and temperature. pH has already been calibrated for you in the lab. However, before using the dissolved oxygen probe, you always want to calibrate ahead of your sampling. Alia will then turn on the YSI meter and go into the middle of the stream to collect the reading. In the middle of the stream, you immerse the probe, making sure that it is underneath the water. And looking at your multimeter, you will see that the numbers jump around and that will stabilize after a few minutes and you will see an AS beside your value. After you have finished measuring using the YSI multimeter, you will remove the black protective cage, spray down your probes with plain tap water not distilled water and you want to ensure you do this after each use and shake your probes so any residual water droplets are removed and use your plastic probe uh, protective sleeve We will now measure the wetted width. This is simply a measurement from the water's edge to the water's edge. We use a measuring tape and you want to ensure that it is straight and not lagging in the water. Next, we will demonstrate the stream gauging method. 
Stream gauging is a technique to measure discharge or the volume of water moving through our area at this unit of time. The method of stream gauging that we will demonstrate is the area velocity method. We will use a meter stick and a swapper. Please re refer to our YouTube tutorial on how to use the swapper flow meter. We will measure depth and velocity at various increments. This could be every 20 centimeters, 50 centimeters, or every one meter. For the purpose of this demonstration, we will use one meter. We will place the meter stick along the water's edge and then our swapper at that one meter mark. We will determine the stream depth. 12 centimeters. And the swapper will be placed facing upstream to measure our velocity at that point in time. After that swapper velocity measurement, we move one meter across the stream. And then we determine the stream the stream depth at the next increment. 23 centimeters. And using the swaffer, we determine the velocity at that point. And we continue to move across the stream to the far bank. At your sampling location, you want to make a note of your site features and your surrounding land use. What activity, indirect or direct, is impacting your sampling site? You want to look upstream as well as downstream. You want to look at your banks and the stability of the banks, if there's any erosion, as well as your riparian vegetation.